Okay, so I got that little apparatus set up there, that little adapter. Um, it is not leaking from there, so all that water that's getting forced through is coming back either out of the um, cutouts there or leaking down where it's supposed to be, so that's great. And it's not on wide open or anything, but it's just uh, pushing water through, so that's good. Makes me feel good. The, the headers or the manifolds are nice and cool, so I know there's water in them and I don't see any water leaking out into the boat, so that's awesome. Okay, so <clears throat> it started up fine and kind of ran really sweet, real, actually. So um, what I'm going to do is I have a little lead here. Basically, that that male bullet connector goes to this. I got just a wiring up there, but this is a lead so that I can ground out the purple and white wire um, back here. There's a tiny purple and white. I'd have to dig it out of there, but anyway. And basically, this is a Thunderbolt 5 ignition, not a Thunderbolt 4. And the reason that I know that is because all this uh, sensorage on the back there, that, that module on the back. Um, anyway, also it can be, can be right here. But anyway, uh, I all along thought this was a Thunderbolt 4, so I'm kind of a moron, but that is common knowledge to anyone now. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is, since this is a Thunderbolt 5, you have to take uh, that purple and white and ground it out. So that's what this lead is for. And when you do that, it sets the timing into its base timing configuration. And then, therefore, you can use a timing light, set your timing, lock the distributor down, and basically be ready to go. So uh, I'm going to try and get that done now and uh, get this thing hooked up. I'm just going to stick it right in here. I think that'll be enough. Okay, so we're started here on the base timing, I guess you'd call it. So, here's my timing light. And so, if you look down in there, maybe you can see that the white line, it's, it's tough to pick up on the camera, but that it's at zero, um, the zero mark. And that also means then we're at 23 degrees and about 900 RPM. So I'm gonna try and dial this back, slow the RPM down, and hopefully the timing will come with it. But I'm looking for 10 degrees before top dead center. So I'm gonna see what we can get here. So what I did was I took my timing light and ran it down from, it was at 23, now down to what, 10 is what it says on the, on the cover that goes over the carb. And so at 10 degrees, it, it, it lowered naturally the RPM down to 790, 800 right down there. And if you look down in here, that timing mark is reading right at zero. So that's, that's right where you wanna be. So basically how this timing light works is you put the number in and the number shows up as zero. So if I move this to like 12 or something, see how it's going away and now it's at four or whatever. So I gotta, I gotta move it back to 10. There it is at 10 and there it is at zero. So anyway, that's uh, this is actually a pretty sweet timing light. So yeah, that's, that's how that works. So I'm gonna actually lock down the, uh, the distributor and then I'm gonna check it again once it's locked down just to make not make sure nothing changed okay so we tightened the clamp down and rechecked the timing and it is still right at 10 and the RPMs at 740 740 ish somewhere in there 730 ish so really quite good so I'm gonna give it a shot here
the throttle return spring is not on there. So it comes right back if we get that spring on there, but yeah, that's basically how we do it. So we'll see how it starts now. Okay, so I took the, also took the base timing lead off. And now I'm gonna just see how it hot starts because that's obviously pretty important on the water. So that that's good. Started right up. That's kind of how it used to run. So I feel good about that. We're gonna start uh, putting it together. All the gauges are reading okay. It's that's probably about all the warmer it ever gets usually when I see it. It appears to be charging or was charging. So yeah, I think we're good. Got some oil pressure at least, so <laughs> that's also good. I'm not sure how much that audio came through, but uh, that was a good test run. I feel good about that. And uh, starts easy, run, runs nice. So I gotta figure out where that return spring actually goes. Um, but uh, yeah, just now buttoning it up, so. Uh, and then get the outdrive on there. 